is a web-based interface that provides management and monitoring capabilities for RabbitMQ and allows you to interact with and manage your RabbitMQ message broker. To access the RabbitMQ console, open a web browser and navigate to this URL or the appropriate IP or host name, whatever you have set up inside your Docker Compose file here on this port. So this is Docker Container's internal port. We could have chosen any other port for our host machine. And then on the host machine here, we would have used the other port. Now we, once we entered this URL, it prompted for a username and password. Again, we have that username and password here as environment variables in Docker Compose file. So to access, we entered the username and password that we specified in Docker Compose YAML file by the environment variables. After successful logging in, you will be presented with the RabbitMQ console. Let's explore some key features. Okay. So the overview page is the first page that you encounter and the overview page provides a summary of key mat matrix, matrix and information about your RabbitMQ instance. It includes details about the number of queues, exchanges, connection, connections, and message rates, as you can see here, right? Then we have queues, importantly. The queues tab displays a list of queues in your RabbitMQ instance. It shows information such as the queue name, number of the message in the queue, and message rates, etc. And you can create and delete, like here, queues from this screen. And you will be able to, of course, delete and manage the queues from here as well. If you go to Exchanges tab from the top, the Exchange tab shows a list of all exchanges in your RabbitMQ instance. It provides information about the exchange type, number of bindings that you have between your queue and exchange and the message rates you can again create delete or manage your exchanges from here and even more than that let's go to connections tab now the connections tab displays all active connections to your rabbit mq instance it includes details such as the client IP address, protocol, and connection state. So you can view and even terminate the connections from this screen. Let's go to channels. The channels tab shows a, all open channels associated with active connections because as you know that a channel channel is connected to some sort of a channel is connected to connection a connection can have many many channels so this channel space will provide information about the channel ID connection and status so you can monitor and even close channels if needed let's go to admin well this is interesting the admin tab provides administrative functionalities from here so you can manage, uh, see here first, on the right hand side, we have things that we can manage from here. So we can manage users, we can manage virtual hosts, permissions and plugins, and blah, blah, blah. So it allows us to configure various aspects of RabbitMQ instance. Now, these are just a few of the features available in RabbitMQ Management Console that we are taking a look. So, if you have if you have followed the instructions and installed this RabbitMQ via the Docker Composer, whatever medium that you have used, take some time to explore the different 
section and famili familiarize yourself with options and functionalities provided. And remember to guide your uh, guide yourself through just take it take it as an overview because in the upcoming videos we'll dive a little deeper and try to do uh, you know uh, in-depth uh, review of RabbitMQ and the console itself.